Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? John, I always lobby a few questions about the Saints, and bad has gotten worse for New Orleans. Now Cam Jordan is on the, the COVID-19 reserve list, and uh, Deontay Harris is going to serve a, um, a three-game suspension. They're going to play the Jets this weekend, Sean. I, I, this is not a question that you could ask a coach or a player currently playing or coaching, but you have the perspective, and I can ask you now as an analyst, but as an organization, should the Saints just pack it in? And, and I'm not saying it in, intentionally lose, but... With the guys who are banged up, intentionally sit them so as not to risk further injury and 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 take the L's if they come and realize you're playing for something in the future. I would not put anybody, and I, I do want to hear before we're done here what what the people are saying about Brian Kelly there. So the, okay. make sure I save it. I want to save it for you at the end because you you got great insight. And I want to hear that. Okay. Um, I I would I would not. I need at this stage of the game, I need a hundred percent health and not risk. So that's a built in. I'm not saying you make excuses, but it's an easy out for you to say, listen, why rush something back? This team's not good offensively and defensively. We know that they've got game. I Lattimore's game the other night was nothing short of it. He was fantastic. I mean, we know defensively offensively, they just don't have enough weapons. They're not good. And, I, whether they were able to scramble and get in the playoffs and go on some run, they're not good enough to make any headway. I just, I, I hate to say the facts and do it because you're right. Players and coaches can't say it. I'm not a tank guy, mm-hmm. but I'm at the stage now that if my guys aren't close to a hundred percent and this is the time, like, like the time between now and a bowl game that you're playing on December 24th or 21st, get the young guys work on the practice field. This is a time when you find out about guys for your roster moving forward. Now, if a guy's healthy, play him. So play him. I don't, I don't have a problem with that because you're the coach. You don't like it, losses adding up. But I'm no longer sacrificing an 80% healthy guy because he may be a little bit better than the healthy guy to go throw him out there and risk it further. The New Orleans Saints have zero shot with their roster offensively, and I mean zero. They got pieces. They got zero shot to roll through any playoffs. They can stay in games, but they can't get in shootouts with anybody. So I'm on the same page as you. I'm not saying chalk it up for next year. You play it out hard, but I'm not overly concerned if an 80% health guy can't play, he sits. How does that go over in the locker room? What are those conversations Um, like among players? I I think that there are players. You're never going to get a player to uh, out check out on you and have golf clubs in his trunk, I wouldn't imagine, because, (laughs) you you know, veterans – but there are some that do, man. You know, there's still two or three games. <laughs> yeah. Guys have checked out in their mind. They're not going to the playoffs. They're a little bit banged up. Let me put it to you this way. If you got an ankle injury, I'm just using that example, or an elbow, and you're like, man, I'm just not feeling it. That elbow hurts a little bit worse if you get closer to Sunday. It's <laughs> easier to do. But I, I, what, we, what we never want to hear is some guy walk up and say, man, I'm healthy enough to play, but I think I'm going to sit this one out. Because deep down, it carries over to down the road you're saying, is that guy really all in? So players don't want to hear it, but don't kid yourself. They all know who is in and who's out and who could play. Being hurt's one thing. You can play. Being injured is another thing. And the way that teams do to protect those players from putting themselves in the, 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 you know, the, the criticism from outside people is you take the blame and say, just not healthy in a doctor. And we can't risk his health. And that covers everything even though players know deep down whether a guy can play or not. Yeah. Um, almost out of obligation, uh, let me just get a thought from you if I could on the Saints-Jets, which uh, I don't know why anybody outside of these two fan bases would have an eye on this game Sunday, but even with their offensive woes, Sean, the Saints are a six-point favorite going up to New York, which yeah. I think is a bigger statement on the Jets than anything. But, I mean, is, right. you look at this as one that the Saints probably should go up to New Jersey and get? Yeah, I, I don't see why they shouldn't win. I, I think their defense is good enough to make it miserable on the Jets' offense that has flashes of ability but doesn't really sustain it. They're not going to put a lot of points on them. You know, they're going to have to get a little lucky on a short field or somebody lay the ball on the ground and they hit a, a big play on a broken coverage, which doesn't happen. I just think that the, the, the best group on the field will be the, the Saints' defense of both teams. It'll probably be really ugly on offense. 
and the Jets, it'll look uglier. The Saints can get by by running it, mixing in some throws, and 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 finding ways to get it done. But I would I would imagine the Saints. I wouldn't bet this game with a ten foot pole with a six point <laughs> spread, considering. Um, but I I would I would think the Saints defense would be a little bit more miserable on an offense, and the Saints can survive it, and they should win it. Even though I don't care if the half their roster wasn't feeling well, just force the quarterback into a few throws, get the get some short fields and and get out of there as healthy as possible. They should win the game. Is there uh, if there is one question people are having around here, it's it's the it's the quarterback question, right? So the Saints signed yep. Taysom Hill to this newfangled contract. Well, now he's got the finger injury. So do you play him with a finger injury or do you go back to Trevor Simeon or do you give the rookie Ian Book a look? So what do you do? Well, if the end book is if they're if they end the, well, I'll tell you this: you'll have a pretty good idea of what the franchise is doing, the team's doing with what you asked me earlier. Depending on if, if the end book's playing, you know why, right? Yeah, sure. Let's they're looking a, for the future. Let's get a look. See, that's exactly right. If he doesn't, now listen: if if Taysom Hill's finger, if he can grip and throw it, play him. Let's go. But I still think that he's as valuable or more valuable in the, that other role. But listen, if you're, if, you, if you're chalking it up to the fact that let's just see what Ian Book can do momentum-wise, why not? If he's the healthiest and we haven't seen it, we know what kind of energy he brings, like he didn't cause it, why not? But if you're saying, well, Taysom's our guy right now, do it, go for it. I can tell you this from my – and I, I saw Ian Book a ton in college. I haven't seen him in the NFL, obviously. None of us have. And it's you know, starting an NFL game. For me – and it's no disrespect to Jameis Winston, but I know how Sean Payton, you and I have had this conversation, protected the inability, the protected turning the ball over this year by the way he called plays. I don't believe that the next three-year starter at quarterback or longer is on the roster. I don't believe their franchise guys on the roster. And I, I no disrespect to Jameis Winston. If I was the Saints and the legal stuff, and we've talked about this was clear, I don't think there's a, oh, my gosh, franchise changer in this draft. Kenny Pickett's a good player. There's good ones and could be great, but I would, if, if Sean Watson's cleared, I would have to inquire deeply about that. And if Deshaun Watson didn't want to play there because he's got a no trade clause, then, then, then I, then I'd have to question his, his agent, him about it. But uh, Deshaun Watson with Sean Payton, will hold the saints together offensively for minimum of a decade. As long as the legal stuff's clear. I don't think the future's on the roster right now as far as five years from now when we're talking. The starting quarterback's not playing for the New Orleans Saints. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.